The subject of this video is my tool cart, um, which may have made a slight appearance in one of my other videos, uh, but I thought I'd take a few minutes to talk about what the tool cart is, why it exists, and why it's useful for a model railroader who has 18 gazillion different tools, um, many of which aren't used very often. So this is the kind of overall shot of the tool cart here, and it's from Home Depot. It's a kit, you put it together, and you end up with the gray metal part. Uh, well, that wasn't really enough for me. I have uh, too much stuff, as you can see. So I built a little wooden box out of 1x4 and 1x12 material. Um, some of it was new lumber, um, some of it was scrap. I've used a lot of 1x4 lumber, so I had a bunch of it laying around. Um, so I used that to build this little toolbox. Um, and it has some different compartments there with different types of tools in it. Um, this gives quick access to my main kind of construction and uh, electrical tools, uh, including all different kinds of pliers, uh, clamps, hammer, uh, scissors, ruler, and the like. Below I have a spot for my toolbox. Um, that's kind of my main toolbox. I bring that to train shows. Uh, it kind of has some miscellaneous stuff in it. Uh, getting onto the actual cart itself, uh, I have a mix of tools and materials, so it's not strictly a tool cart. Um, but also has some basic materials on it. And in here I kind of have electrical and uh, organizational uh, types of things including zip ties. Um, those reels of wire are a wire that I've twisted together. It's 16 gauge stranded for bus wire. And there's different nails and fasteners. I've been standardizing on uh, one quarter inch 20 thread bolts uh, and nuts and washers around the whole layout so that when it's eventually moved, the um, hardware can be thrown in a box and it will all be interchangeable. There's a uh, yardstick that I just recently clamped on the side there for storage. Um, I also have a series of mini clamps, uh, some measuring tapes, a little screwdriver set there in that black box, staple gun, tight bond 2 glue, which is the most amazing glue ever. Um, they should probably pay me because I keep talking about it, but Type on 2 is just great. Um, it tacks up fairly quickly. It's not terribly runny, um, but it is incredibly strong once it dries. Um, just great material. Duct tape, so between the two, pretty much can repair just about anything. Um, and then under here, bounty paper towels, the quicker picker upper. And I have two little miscellaneous boxes. This one typically goes to train shows. Um, it just has kind of your basic, we have some code 83 to code 100 rail joiners, some insulated rail joiners, as well as metallic rail joiners, and then some material for cleaning off the track. Great for the module with train shows. And then under there is a box that's full of all kinds of little tiny pieces of stuff, including lots of little pieces of random junk that I sort of have and may use at some point. Then under here are some uh, Simpson screws. They're uh, made for shelving units, um, but they are incredibly useful. They bite pretty hard, and they're great to use with the electric drill. Underneath, I have some glue and some other scenery materials. Haven't used those much lately. Hopefully, I will in the future. And um, I also have some zip ties, which are insanely useful for pretty much everything. Finally, on the end of the cart here, I have my network tool bag. Um, in that tool bag is everything you could use for uh, Cat5 cables, RG6 cables. I have two um, computer toolkits in there, in addition to the ends for both uh, Cat5 and RG6, uh, in addition to some uh, testing equipment, network testing, wiring testing. Um, the tool cart's kind of also for maintaining um, the data and video wiring in the basement, in addition to the railroad. Uh, and then there's my little electrical. Um, toolkit. I use the crimper the most for crimping on the lug nuts, um, but it's also got some needleless pliers, a couple little screwdrivers, and a couple little miscellaneous uh, parts. And um, that's pretty much everything. And I really like the tool cart. I can just wheel it around, and uh, it's always ready to go. Has pretty much everything in it. And as long as I put it back in the tool cart, which is the trickiest part of using it, is actually getting everything back in the tool cart. Um, and not just leaving it random places. I can always find what I need and I can bring my entire tool set with me um, around the entire basement, which is really good. So I'd highly recommend one of these for anyone who's building a layout or has um, a lot of modeling work that's 
in different locations. And that's it. Thank you for watching.